okay, let's add some more functionality to this game. So I've got my actions window right here, which I can use. So I'm going to move that over here and then open it up again. And basically what we did was, in the last time we said that we decremented the aliens. Every time you shoot an alien, it the alien count moves down. So a couple of things that we can do then, basically... Um, right after this is I'll put another if statement so this block of code right here is this entire if statement right there right so after we uh, remove an alien lower the alien count and then raise up the score change the scoreboard we'll put another if statement here so I'll say if and then open and then a close parentheses okay and then we'll say if and we'll do this if Let's copy that. If aliens dot alien count equal equals right zero. So if we get down to zero aliens, then what we'll put here in this block is level up. Okay, so that's where we will level up. And then afterwards we could say with a space here or on the next line else if and then open and close parentheses and then a well we have to put our curly brace and then our end curly brace right so then we can put an else if so else if and then we'll do the same thing we'll say this time though what we could do is we could say else if the alien count equals let's say nine we can do something right and then I'll just copy this whole block of code and then do the same thing and else if the alien count equals let's say or we could say 12 and then nine so two different things happen so once we get down to 12 aliens something happens once we get down to nine aliens something happens and if we get down to zero aliens, you know, then the level's over and we, we need to write the code for a new level. So what I'll do is, is I'll go up here to the top of my code and look at my variables. And you can see that I've got this alien speed um, variable right here. Alien speed equals six, right? So what we could try to do is we could try to increase the speed which would then make the aliens um, go after the hero a lot faster. So if the alien count equals 12, we could say that alien speed equals 10. If it gets down to nine aliens, we could say that alien speed equals 15. So let's see if that works. So we'll hit Control Enter, click here to begin. We start shooting, and we'll see if they speed up. And let's see here. And so as you can see, they're speeding up. All right, so that added a layer of difficulty by speeding up the um, aliens as they get down to a lower and lower count number. So that worked. Okay, so now that we have the aliens chasing after the um, hero and the hero can shoot the aliens and they're speeding up and everything and that's great, we still have the problem is that the hero does not get hurt if the aliens get a hold of him. So let's, let's add that code to our game. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to run a collision detection for the bad guys to see if the bad guys touch the hero, right? And we're going to need a little information about it. So let's go into the library really quickly. And I want to check something really quickly. MC hero. I believe this is our hero. Let's just do a quick properties here. Yes, that's the hero. And I want to record the hero's width and height. So I'm going to go to I. And the width is also 13 pixels, 
and the height is 25 pixels. So half of that is six and a half and half of 25 is 12 and a half. So just wanted to double check that. So I'm gonna delete that now from the stage. All right, and then we'll go back to the code. And I'm gonna go to the part in the code where we create the aliens. So you can see here, function create aliens. And what we did was is we created an empty movie clip called aliens and then we dumped all of the alien characters into this empty movie clip. Now what we can do is we can put an on enter frame handler on this aliens movie clip that will execute at whatever the frame rate is. So in other words we could say aliens dot on enter frame and if we do that what that's going to do is it's going to, um, and I put aliens, aliens dot on enter frame, and that will call, let's say, a function. We could call a block of code at, let's say, 24 frames per second or something like that. So we could say aliens dot on enter frame equals, and then we could say alien hit test, right? Or alien call test, which would be collision test, but I'll just use hit test, right? So alien hit test with capital H, capital T, and then a semicolon. And so now what we need to do is we need to write a function called alien hit test. And if we hit the aliens, then we're in business. So we'll go down in our code and we've got the move aliens function here. We'll go down to the bottom and we'll say function alien hit test. We don't want any spaces in there. And open and close parentheses, open curly brace, and a close curly brace, right? And then what we'll say is, we'll say if, and actually not an if, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to loop through all of the aliens. So we'll say for, I'm going to open in a close parentheses, and this time we'll use for an increment, instead of using i, I'm going to use k. So k equals, and I'll just say k equals 1, and then we're going to need to loop through all these aliens. So k equals 1, and then a semicolon, and then we'll say, okay, we'll start with a for loop. And instead of using I or index, I'm just going to use the letter K to stand in for that. So then what we'll do is we'll say as long as K is less than or equal to, put a space in here, alien array dot length. And then we'll say K plus plus. All right, so that's going to loop through, starting at the number one, it'll loop through all of the aliens in the array. We need a semicolon in between these three elements. K equals one, which will be our integer, starting at one. It's going to loop through as long as it's less than or equal to the length of the alien array, so all of the aliens, and then we increment it by one. So this is our for loop. And now all we need to do is run a hit test. So we say if and then this is the part that's interesting. We'll say if this, which is the movie clip, let's say aliens, right? So if aliens, and to figure that out, we could test what this is, but right now I'll just go ahead and keep doing this. If alien plus K, all right? So if this aliens dot alien plus K, right? And you can see that this code worked here for the move aliens. Aliens, right, right there. But instead of saying aliens, I'm just going to see if I can get away with using the this statement. So if this, and then we'll say this alien plus k dot underscore x is less than hero dot underscore x plus 6.5, which is the width, right? And we'll 
let's say it's that and we need to do the opposite copy paste and if is greater than the hero's x position minus the width or half of the width okay and then we'll put another and now we got to do this whole thing again but for y so we copy this and put this on the next line we're looking for y's here So that will be our collision detection. We need to end the whole thing with an ending, right? And that's our if statement. At the end, we'll put this. And we'll say trace kill hero. And that is just a string because it's in between the quotation marks. And we'll see if that works. So that should loop through all the aliens, testing each one to see if they've crossed the path of the hero on the X and Y axis. And if it has, let's, hear, let's see some output. So let's give that a try. So all right, we'll click here. And we'll see if it worked. We should be seeing some crossing of the path here. And you can see there it was. Kill Hero looks like it registered all of those collisions crossing the X and Y axis. So this code seems to be working pretty decently. Now some people might say, why didn't I use the hit test function built into Flash? I think that this um, that using, doing the code this way will be uh, less processor intensive. So that's nice.